<laughs> Warning, this video is made for your entertainment, our entertainment, and your enjoyment. If you don't like the music, well guess what? You can just... <laughs> YouTube. Aloha YouTube. Today we're gonna be cooking up some holiday favorites and uh, this is a dish that I have been cooking since I was a, a little kid. Um, I remember uh, my grandmother teaching me how to make it, my mom teaching me how to make it, and uh, when I was hungry and there was no snacks at home I would make it. Really? So yeah. Oh wow. I there was no that. snacks at my house. And the name of the dish is scallop potatoes. I got no clue why it's called scalloped potatoes. Because it's like scalloped deed. If you know the real answer, let us know. Oh, that's not the real answer? I think it is the real answer, but I really don't know. Oh. Anyways, I've been making scalloped potatoes for a very long time. I've had some really bad ones. Excuse me, sir. Last year, did you not make scalloped potatoes super bad? No. Rewind. Last year, this time, he made scalloped potatoes using a different type of potato and it didn't work. That's not my fault. Excuse you, I told you, uh, why don't you just use the regular potatoes that you use every year? They were and called were like, golden I delicious. I just want to try something and make it a little bit fancy. They were called golden we delicious We literally cooked potatoes. this thing for hours and hours and days, literally three days in a row. It never reached the right texture and my family no longer wants it. Vince is amazing. Scallop and that potatoes. is why I'm calling this dish spiteful potatoes. <laughs> because they made fun of me. And I will make them this one you... time and I will reveal how delicious it is and I will enjoy it and never make it again. To make yourself some spiteful scallop potatoes, you need cheese, heavy whipping cream, taters, salt, pepper, caramelized onions, and of course, garlic. Alright, you guys, so in preparation we have boiled and peeled potatoes. Um, you don't have to boil them. You could do it with raw potatoes. It just takes it a little bit longer to cook. We also have cheese, which uh, you typically need just normal like cheddar cheese, but we're fancy, so we got some fancy like white cheddar cheese. But but but. <laughs> but to be honest, you just need uh, cheddar cheese. Lynn also added her little chef twist. I'm not a chef though. And she caramelized some onions for us in the pan that we're gonna cook it in. Usually I just cook it in like some ghetto pan that I, I probably use once or twice a year. But we have it in this fancy little pan where we caramelize the onions so now the pan has flavor. Yeah! Onion flavor! Caramelized onions was literally a little bit of oil or butter onion, salt, pepper, and I added a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette and a little bit of Worcestershire to give it a, just a little bit of a kick. What's this called? Mandalay. A mandalay. You don't need this. You can just cut this with a knife, but I'm being fancy. Oh gosh, um, you're so fancy, Vince. But also, it also makes real nice, even slices so mm. that, you know, when you cut it, maybe you have, don't have the best knife skills. This really makes it easy and also makes it faster. So if you use this though, please be careful for your fingers. Oh yeah. I have uh, cut lots of fingers on this when I was a, a, a toddler. Lots of fingers. A toddler. Huh? Oh, you're making me so nervous. Can you slow down, please? Man, I'm making a hot mess. Yeah, you are. Vince is crazy. Also, if you're going to use this, don't boil your potato too much. Yeah. Because, uh, like, mash a potato much, because yeah. then it won't slice nicely and it'll all fall apart. In general, though, don't boil it too much. I'm just going to butter this pan a little bit just to make sure that those potatoes don't get stuck. Oh, look at those precise little, okay, that's enough. There's a couple people that I know, not saying any names, but they make it from a box, and uh, which is, I think is like the cheater style. How do you make it from a box? It's like, it's like a powder, or, or it's like a, it's dehydrated. It's like sliced with sauce and you just add water. I mean, it, it's decent, but it ain't the same. Like this will like, kind of like change your life a little bit. That one will kind of like make it a little bit worse. The beautiful slices I added to here. And then we begin magic. Okay, can you not make a mess though? Okay. I do a layer of cheese because then it creates a cheese skirt at the bottom. Oh my, is that the secret? That's not, Shh. there's a lot of secrets. Like everything in this video is a secret. Shh, it's a secret. 
if you say anything, I will cut you. What you wanna do is you can't just like toss this in here. It's like an art piece, so you wanna do it like little scales, and what I like to do like is Like scallops? Call, do scallops have scales? No. Oh. If you are to uh, do this in a pan, I like to do scales across, but since we're doing it in a circle, we're gonna make a beautiful little like rose. I don't know what it is about like these thin layers of potatoes with different like varying layers where it's like layer by layer by layer that like that texture in your mouth just feels better. I've seen people do it where they chop up the potatoes and throw the, everything into like a big bowl and then they just layer it in. But I like it like this because it uh, you have like flavor layers. Flavor layers. You drop bombs, flavor bombs. Blah, blah, blah. We do a layer of cheese. Oh my gosh. We want to add garlic. I got a decent amount. And again, don't hold back on the garlic because garlic and potatoes and cheese uh -huh. equals magic. If I had a knife, I'd use it, but I'm just gonna flick off a little piece of butter. So, flick off another piece. So clean. And I like to hit all four corners, even though there's zero of them. Before I do the next step, we have to add heavy whipping cream. And this is also something that people hold back on. They're like, ew, whipping cream. It's gonna make my potatoes nasty. But if you guys imagine like creamy potatoes and it mixes with the cheese and the garlic, go ahead and put some <laughs> pepper. When you guys do these layers, just keep in mind like the cheese does have a little bit of salt in it and uh, those caramelized onions have salt in it. So don't put too much, but you want just a little bit. And then we go into our next layer. One. Two, three, and two, the boat. You're ghetto. Now that we're on the third layer, we're gonna throw these caramelized onions into the mix. So go ahead and smother it. Since this is like a home style dish, that means you should use your hands because it means more flavor. Every time Vincent cooks for anyone, just know that his breakdancing hands have been all up in it. Breaking health code violations. <laughs> the, with the caramelized onions, you don't really need any more seasoning, but I wanna throw cheese in there because cheese mixed with those onions. Cheese mixed with everything is it's good. Magic. So now that we have our onions and our cheese in there, we obviously don't need more seasoning on this layer because it's good. So we're gonna go ahead and build our way up. <laughs> layer is the most important layer. Is it? It gives it a nice textural, textural crunch. Drizzle this garlic on. Let's pepper this, pepper this layer up. You can throw a little bit more butter. And in actuality, I, I thought I used more butter, but it actually isn't that much butter. Yeah, I think you've maybe used like a tablespoon. This top layer, we have to use all of this delicious white cheddar cheese. It's the one from Costco. Well, actually I've seen it other places too. It's so good. It's they call like coastal, coastal aged white cheddar. It's got like the little like the salt crystals and I watched a video the other day. Those salt crystals show that it's been aged for a long time. It is so good. Oh my gosh. If you get the chance to try this cheese, try it. Now that we have this beautiful, beautiful scallop potatoes. Scallop potatoes. Spike full scallop potatoes. We're gonna throw this in the oven at 400 degrees for one hour. One hour later and we're done. Crispy on the top, creamy in the middle. Cheesy all over, kinda like you. Garlicky all over, just like your breath. <laughs> Salty, just like your personality. <laughs> hey, what? Doesn't whoa, this whoa, whoa, kind whoa. of feel like news anchor? Oh yeah, we're like the. In other news, we have some cheesy potatoy deliciousness for you guys. Spiteful potatoes. I'm excited. Wow! Show it to the camera. Wow. Wow, right when I said wow, we went Whew. I'm so excited. Whoa, did you see that little cheese skirt? Oh, oh wow. wow. This is our creation. Uh, our holiday favorite. I've made this like a gajillion times since I was a kid, and uh, but this is uh, a little bit different that we uh, experimented with with the, with the onions. Layer of onions. And also the uh, 
the Cast pan. Cast iron mm -hmm. skillet. So right off the bat, you can kind of see on the bottom that you got that uh, that cheese skirt. But yeah, I, I'm trying are to. We, are we doing this together? Dig it in. Cheers. It's so hot. Oh wow. I got the cheese skirt. It's so hot. Okay. I can taste it now. Whew. My family is in regret. That's exactly <laughs> why they're called spiteful potatoes. This is probably not something you want to eat like every day, but when you're on a holiday break and you wanna make your family happy, this is the way to go. If you guys are interested in making this at home, it is not too difficult, it's pretty foolproof. You could probably uh, just throw these ingredients together and uh, whip it up in. As long as you're not a fool who buys the wrong types of potatoes. Hey, just let me be fancy when I wanna be fancy. Be fancy and you don't get to eat no scalloped potatoes. Maybe I was just doing it so other people couldn't eat them and when they're actually really done. I ate them by myself in the bathroom. That's nasty. <laughs> and also, we didn't do this, but it's also pretty delicious with paprika. Oh, we forgot. If you guys have ever had like potato salad with some paprika, it is mm, you sound so bomb.com. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us eat all this delicious food and also uh, cooking it as well. Um, if you guys have your own holiday favorites, let us know in the comments below. And let us know if you give it a try because, again, it's not that difficult. Press that subscribe button and happy holidays. Enjoy yourselves.